decades ago, we started to get the first inklings that a plant-based diet may be protective against diabetes. Studies going back a half century found that those eating meat one or more days a week had significantly high rates of diabetes, and the more frequently meat was eaten, the more frequent the disease. And this is after controlling for weight. Even at the same weight, those eating plant-based had a, but a fraction of the diabetes rates. And if anything, vegetarians should have had more diabetes just because they appear to live so much longer, so have more time to develop these kinds of chronic diseases. But no, apparently lower rates of death and disease. Fast forward 50 years to the Adventist II study, looking at 89,000 people, and we see a stepwise drop in the rates of diabetes as one eats more and more plant-based, down to a 78% lower prevalence among those eating strictly plant-based. Protection building incrementally as one moved from eating meat, to eating less meat, to just fish, to no meat, and then to no eggs or dairy either. We see the same thing with another leading killer, high blood pressure. The greater the proportion of plant foods, the lower the rates of hypertension. And the same with excess body fat. The only dietary group not on average overweight were those eating diets composed exclusively of plant foods. Uh, but again, the same incremental drop with fewer and fewer animal products. This suggests you know, it's not black and white, not all or nothing. Any steps we can make towards eating healthier may accrue significant benefits. Followed over time, vegetarian diets were associated with substantially lower incidence of diabetes, uh, new, fewer new cases, indicating the potential of these diets to stem the current diabetes epidemic. What about eating a really healthy diet with just little meat, or is it better to eat none at all? Well, we have new insight this year from Taiwan. Asian diets in general tend to be lower in meat, higher in plant foods compared to Western diets. But whether a diet completely avoiding meat and fish would further extend the protective benefit of a plant-based diet wasn't known until now. Traditionally, Asian populations have had low rates of diabetes, but a diabetes epidemic has since emerged, and appears to coincide with increased meat, animal protein, and animal fat consumption. But the westernization of Asian diets also brought along a lot of fast food and junk. So these researchers at the National University didn't want to just compare you know, eating vegetarian to typical meat eaters, but compared Buddhist vegetarians to Buddhist non-vegetarians eating traditional Asian diets. Even the omnivores were eating a predominantly plant-based diet, consuming little meat and fish, with the women eating the equivalent of about a single serving a week, and men eating a serving every few days. That's just 8% of the meat intake in the U.S., 3% for the women. The question is, is it better to eat 3% or 0%? Again, both groups were eating healthy, uh, zero soda consumption, for example, in any group. Despite the similarities in their diet, and after controlling for weight and family history and exercise and smoking, the men eating vegetarian had just half the rates of diabetes, and the vegetarian women just a quarter the rates. So even in a population consuming a really plant-based diet with little meat and fish, true vegetarians who completely avoided animal flesh while eating more healthy plant foods had lower odds for prediabetes and diabetes after accounting for other risk factors. They wanted to break it up into vegan versus ovo-lacto, like in the Adventist II study, but there were no cases at all of diabetes found within the vegan group.